A roller coaster seems to glide along the tracks without any need to be pushed or urged to keep going. How does such a huge machine have the ability to go so fast and so far? What makes a roller coaster go? How does it work? The first roller coasters started in Russia and were basically giant sleds. It didn't take long, however, for other people to catch on to the idea and try making bigger and better rides, similar to the ones we see today. So how does a ride like that have so much force to sling their occupants through their set design? This is where gravity comes into play. You might notice how roller coasters will be pulled up to their highest point, which is where they will have the most potential energy. When they head towards the ground, that potential energy is turned into kinetic energy, and off the coaster goes. From then on, the coaster must balance between the kinetic and potential energy to keep the ride moving. It can climb a big hill, but if the ride doesn't have enough kinetic energy to bring it all the way up, it can stall and leave its passengers helpless. However, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Let's talk about G-forces. A G-force is the force you feel when you accelerate. When you ride in a car, you could be pushed back in your seat. That's the G-forces pushing. If you are exposed to too much G-force, then your body can start to feel the side effects, and they are very negative. Roller coasters now require constant inspection to ensure that there is no threat to life and no possibility of injury. So when you ride, you don't have to worry about the dangers or the physics. You can simply enjoy the ride.